Hello, I'm Tara Lilly, your host and hypnotherapist. Welcome to Santa Barbara Hypnotized, co-creating mind, body, and spirit in paradise. I'm so eager for this show because we are going to aim to get on target. Have you ever worked on this goal before? Today is a journey to discover different strategies for your success and guaranteed you have not heard this before. This information on this show, we will be tapping into resources within. And the goal of this show is to empower your subconscious to make changes quickly, easily, and efficiently at the subconscious level, regardless of your success rate in the past. How are we going to use our mind to achieve goals? Well, no matter what time of the year it is, we can all use goal setting. And as we know, this is often accompanied with goals made with the best intentions that are difficult to keep. Only a small number of us will actually experience success and continue with our new behavior patterns. People have a hard time making goals because of this. As a matter of fact, 83% of the population has no goals, and 14% have a plan in mind, but the goals are unwritten, and only 3% have goals written down. Some people don't even bother making resolutions for fear of failure. If this sounds like you, then hypnosis can help put you in the right frame of mind and motivate you to achieve your goals with confidence. So sometimes we may decide to start on a healthy regime of exercising and losing weight and to start off with our motivation is high, only for us to lapse at the first sign of temptation or stress. So what's going on here? The reason is it can be difficult for most of us because we are creatures of habit and in times of, times of adversity revert to our old coping mechanisms and of course one cigarette or one piece of ice cream cake isn't going to make that much of a difference, is it? We kid ourselves. And yes, it does make a difference because this often leads to failure. Or we may be eating all the right things and exercising even more, but yet no weight is being shed. So because the results aren't immediate, we will stop and punish ourselves with denial and go back to the old, well-worn path of our neural networks. It doesn't have to be like that though. People can and do lose weight, stop drinking, stop smoking, stop being lazy, and keep many other goals that they have set. They may do this the hard way, using willpower or choose to change their mindset with the help of hypnosis and hypnosis can help you stick to your goals by focusing on the tasks you want to achieve or problems you want to overcome. And no matter what your goal or goals are, the biggest theme in all of this is to just better yourself in some way. And I've said it before, our brains are actually wired to always be improving, getting better all the time. Ready to get started? The first thing is to get out that pen and paper or something digital to write with. And while you're doing that, here's a quote by Zig Ziglar. If you aim at nothing, you hit it every time. It's one of my favorites. So what's in the center of your target? What's written in the bullseye? Small or large? First, we're going to list our goals out. And you can do this now or just pick one to work with for now, but please go back and list all your goals afterwards and really use and implement these strategies here. And there are lots of goals to choose from, and I'm sure you have some already. If you can't think of any goals by now, here are some local goals in our area that you may want to try. How about plant a garden or support your local farmers by shopping at places that support local produce? How about learn to swim? In a pool maybe, or maybe our beautiful ocean? Scuba dive? <laughs> There's so many beautiful and cleansing trails here. 
How many have you hiked? How about mountain biked? And there are many volunteer organizations here in Santa Barbara County. Which one do you have a passion to support or help with? With so many ways to learn, everything from cooking class to surfing, we truly have everything here in Santa Barbara under the sun, don't we? Okay, so do you have your goal? To help get you on target, I've put together the best of the best. I call it the who, what, where, when, why, how. So we're gonna start off with the what. First of all, identify your goal. What do you want? You know, something almost magical happens when you take generalized desires and start defining them more precisely through goal setting. Decide upon your goal. Write it down. Taking it from thought form to material form is the first step towards achievement. Get into your subconscious by writing it down. I like to think of that target with the goal smack in the middle, right there in your target. Your subconscious loves symbols. So today, we are gonna give it targets to aim for. So be specific. The more detailed you can be, the better. How specific can you be if your goal is to lose weight? You could say, I wanna lose 20 pounds. Okay, this is a great start, but how about I want to lose 20 pounds so that I can wear my favorite swimsuit on the beach again this July. This makes it easier to visualize and achieve what you want. This puts a reason behind your aim, which will enable you to progress further when things get challenging. So visualize and imagine yourself as already achieving these goals. And you can use your five senses for this. You on the beach, what are the sounds? What are the smells? The sights. Next is state it in the positive. State that what in the positive. For example, I am successful rather than I'm not gonna fail. This means that you will be pointing in the right direction for success. So for the goal to stop eating junk food would be related in the positive. I am a healthy eater. And next I wanna point out that a wish does not equal a goal. A wish will always be in the future. A goal has actual steps to achieve. It has completion dates, a plan of action. And next is the who. Who is this for? You have to do it for yourself or it will not be lasting change. It will be filled with self-sabotage and feelings of bitterness directed to whoever wanted you to make the change. Next is, is it compelling enough for you or inspiring to you? If your goal is to read novels because your friends do, but you don't like reading, that could be an example of not compelling enough for you or inspiring. Believing in yourself is a must. Where, if any, do you need to be prepared for sabotage? Anything that might stand in your way, just identify it. Don't let it halt you. Just be aware of it so when it comes up, you are prepared to keep this goal in line with what you wanted when you made the goal in the first place. Remember, sometimes the right path is not the easy one. Sometimes our past is keeping us safely where we are. With the best intentions of the world, a parent or a teacher can destroy a child's confidence and install a lifelong pattern of self-doubt. So, to achieve your goals, Forget about other people's lessons in life. Wipe the slate clean and start again. Believing in yourself. Now it's really important to keep a written record of success. Humans actually have this built-in negativity bias. It's an evolutionary thing. It helped us to stay alert to danger back in the prehistoric days when everything was out to kill us. <laughs> in modern times, this negativity bias causes us to feel and remember bad things much more powerfully than we feel and remember the good things. So it really helps to have a written record of what's working so that you can keep track of your positive achievements and remember them at the end of the day. And that's why I recommend you keep a daily journal of your success. It's a great way to focus your attention on the positive and continually stay on track with your vision for your ideal life. 
And this journal can also serve as a gratitude journal, which I've talked about before. Don't forget to acknowledge those small wins, and this will help keep you on track. And reward yourself for the small wins. It shouldn't be monetary, just a simple feeling of proudness as you write down your small accomplishment. As you write down your small accomplishments. Sometimes goals cannot be kept because of fears or phobias, which are overcome by hypnosis. So, if I'm afraid of flying, I won't have a goal of vacationing in Hawaii. Unless, of course, I'm ready to overcome those fears and phobias. And don't be hard on yourself if you need to reevaluate your plan of action, if things aren't going on as planned. <clears throat> so focus on what's working, what is not working. Sometimes you can get frustrated because you're not progressing as quickly as you'd hoped. And it can be easy to focus on the negative instead of the positive. That's where your daily journal comes in. You may even find yourself entertaining self-destructive thoughts like, I'm not good enough, this will never work, or something must be wrong with me. But one of the great laws of the universe is that you get more of what you aim for. So if you pay more attention to the things that aren't working, you'll encounter more negative experiences, people, and results. And there's not much, ex and there's not much success in that. On the flip side, is if you focus on what is working, you'll be able to see where you're getting the best results for your efforts. And you will start identifying new ways to get even better results. Next is the win. Set a date for achieving your goal. I will accomplish it by such and such date. And repetition. Think and do something towards your goal every day. Make this a part of life. First it becomes a chore. Then it becomes a habit, and then it becomes who you are. It's your new set point. You can even make timers on your phone for goal-related habits. Set those reminders. If you're lucky enough to have one of those fancy phones, set those reminders on there. And next is the win. Set a date for achieving your goal. I will accomplish it by such and such date. And repetition. Do something towards your goal every day to make part this part of your life. First it becomes a chore, then it becomes a habit, then it becomes who you are. It is your homeostasis, your new set point. So you can make timers on your phone that are goal related. Make your phone work for you by setting reminders throughout the day. Is your goal realistic? Can you re realistically become a concert pianist, having never played an instrument in your life within two months? Maybe, but be prepared, okay? Measurable. Precision is your friend when it comes to goal setting. When you can measure, you'll actually see your progress and know when you achieve it by writing it down, right? Concrete criteria helps everybody stay on track. So for example, I wish I was better at budgeting my money. This is not a measurable goal. It's unclear what better means. You need to have solid metrics in mind. Have the goal to understand your current spending habits, pay off your credit cards, and start saving 25% of your income. And throw in a time frame in there. So having a clear idea of your time frame creates a sense of urgency and you'll be working towards what you want more quickly. I like the saying, three months from now, your future self will thank you. <laughs> Next is the why. Why do I need this goal? Identify your purpose. Why you want to achieve this. What will it bring you? If you know what you're moving towards and why, you will find a way to make it happen. Remember, Reasons come first and then answers. Reasons for you to achieve this goal, write it down. The how, I like this one because this is the plan of action. What are the steps to accomplish your goal? Think about the steps that are needed to achieve that goal. Unless it's something really easy, you're not going to just jump in from where you are right now, right up to the top. 
So realistically decide what needs to be done. For instance, healthy eating. You could list step one, booking a hypnosis session on healthy eating. Step two, make a list of all the fresh foods you'll eat or like. Step three, research the internet for recipes that are easy for you to prepare. Step four, a cupboard clean out. Get all the junk food out. Step five, pick your day to make the change. And while writing out your plan of action, you can use this time. Use it to imagine and visualize walking through the farmer's market or natural food store, selecting those crisp, fresh vegetables or salad from the supermarket, preparing them, put in the aroma, the smell of fresh herbs. Really imagine this and imagine that wonderful taste in your mouth and how good you're going to feel as you digest this healthy food. And don't forget the touch. How do they feel as you're preparing them? Just go through these with all of your five senses really in your mind and you will direct your subconscious to help you achieve this in a realistic way. Whatever it is that you are desiring. Once you've planted the right thoughts in your mind, generally whatever goes into the mind will come out in some form or another. So if you've previously watched one of my shows or been hypnotized before, you know what hypnosis is. For those that have not, I want to let you know some things to expect. First is that you will be present at all times, hearing everything I say, and you'll know that you can get up anytime and walk around, but you won't want to. You will be just too relaxed. I have no magical powers. You won't be made to do or say anything that you do not want to do. And there's no way to get stuck in hypnosis because our brains are actually wired for this hypnotic state. So can you recall that feeling right before you fall asleep, that in-between state? How about not fully awake yet in the morning, wondering if you're asleep or awake? Those two moments of the day, that's a state of hypnosis. Hypnosis just makes you hyper-suggestible. It's a deep state of relaxation. I'll actually use the word deep sleep in our hypnosis session, but you won't fall asleep or be asleep or be unconscious. This is just a reminder to let go and go into a sleep-like feeling. In your deep relaxation, you might feel light, tingling sensations, or you might feel heavy, relaxed feelings of comfort. You may feel as if you've just slept eight hours, yet you may have no sensations at all, just a simple feeling of wonderful calmness with your eyes closed. You may find yourself having distracting thoughts at first, and this is perfectly normal. It's just your mind sorting and integrating with your subconscious. So let me ask you this. Have you ever gotten lost in a book? you know you're just simply reading a two-dimensional black and white paper. That's it. But you get so entranced by the words. You feel what the characters feel as if you are there in that moment. How about watching a movie and actually gotten angry, mad, sad, or fearful, possibly even cried at a loss, knowing fully well that these are just scripted lines played by actors Emotions are evoked, and this is a state of hypnosis. Have you ever been driving and missed your exit, not even realizing you were driving? Yes. <laughs> and these are all good examples of everyday hypnosis, and all are normal. So with that being said, everyone is hypnotizable, some just more than others. You may feel good and relaxed, perhaps on the verge of sleep, or you may be saying to yourself at first, this isn't working, I'm not feeling it. But the more you think that you are not being hypnotized, the more you actually are going deeper. And you could fall from one extreme to the other. Most of us will fall somewhere in between. And things that 
can affect your hypnosis real quick is just contact lenses which can irritate your eyes and any alcohol drugs including medication all of these can affect your hypnosis level and of course in a private session we would be able to control your hypnosis level this is just a general one so hopefully though we'll get you somewhere right there in between so we've learned a lot of good information thank you for watching when we come back get ready to be hypnotized Welcome back to Santa Barbara Hypnotized. Hypnosis can be a great tool for goal setting, releasing those limiting beliefs and building confidence around your goals. And we will do this together through hypnosis. Together, we will co-create your goal success. First, in preparation, please turn your phone to Do Not Disturb. Go to a comfortable place where you won't be disturbed. And this way, you can enjoy this fully and completely. If you wear glasses and it's comfortable, you can take those off now. Feet flat on the floor. Sit back. Sit spine straight up. Or of course, if physical challenges have you in bed, just be propped up enough to look at this. Look this way and head this way without moving. Just let your head stay still as your eyes look around at your surroundings and just find a spot or an object to stare at. And you'll notice a tendency for your eyes to be drawn to one spot or you can just pick a spot and stare at it. And don't move your eyes away from it find it. Got it? Just staring and breathing. And in a moment, you may notice it's getting harder and harder to keep your eyes open. You may be noticing that your eyelids are feeling heavier and heavier as they begin to want to close, you'll prepare yourself to enter the state of deep relaxation. The state of hypnosis for the purpose to be fully calm and relaxed. And the more you try to fight your eyes closing, the more you might notice that peaceful, comfortable, flowing sense of calm that washes over you as you prepare to enter relaxed and calm. Your eyelids are feeling heavier and heavier and you may feel the need to want to blink as it's harder and harder to keep them open. Soon your eyelids will close and when they do you will enter a light hypnotic state. And if your eyes are not already closed, just close your eyes now and feel the weight of your eyelids relax, bringing more relaxation to your body. You might notice that your body is feeling even more relaxed. Deep sleep. And each time deep sleep is suggested to you for the purpose of hypnosis, relaxing quickly, calmly, and deeply to this depth, or even deeper. And the physical body is relaxed, and the mind is very calm and open to only positive suggestions. Breathe deeply, good. You might notice that your breathing is getting even more deep now. And as the different areas of your body begin to let go and the tension and stressors 
anxieties or worries. And just feel the different areas of your body begin to release. Visualize or imagine a favorite place where you feel really comfortable and relaxed and go there now while you continue feeling the relaxing, calming, comfortable feelings. Be aware of your feet now and your ankles and make the tiny muscles in your feet and ankles very tense, squeezing all those tiny muscles, tensing and tensing tighter and tighter. And now relax them, allowing the body to release all the tensions in the feet. And notice how relaxed you can make your ankles as they release tension from the pressures of the day. Give that moment to your feet and ankles now. And feel the calming sensation as it spreads to your calves now. Good. And you may notice a melting sensation as you relax even more. And notice how calm and secure you feel as this relaxation grows heavier in your knees, wrapping over you and releasing. Just give permission to your knees to just relax and they can become more comfortable, more calm, and still. And as you relax your body, continue that feeling, feeling it become loose and limber, comfortable and calm. And you can let your thighs start to melt, feeling that you are becoming one with the area beneath you as you melt even more. And maybe you notice how calm you feel as you strain and release any strains from your body. Feel the calming sensation as the tension and negativity is slowly released from your hips as the calming, soothing sensation spreads to your tummy. And notice how calm and safe you begin to feel. I don't know where you go when you're feeling really comfortable and relaxed, but just allow yourself to go there now as you continue this feeling of calm, comfort, sensations of releasing, unwinding the weight that you carry in your shoulders. Imagine all the muscles melting down your arms and feeling the weight of your elbows down through your wrists and feel the sensation as the calm feeling of relaxation spreads through and out to your fingers, unwinding any tension out through the tips. Just let it go. That's right, notice the calming sensations traveling up now through the neck, soothing those muscles and nerves into calmness. Notice how relaxed you feel as the tension and negativity are slowly pushed out 
from the center of your chest. Just visualize or imagine as an opening of positive light just releases through your chest. Feel the tension as it releases from your body completely. And as the relaxation continues to spread upward through the back of your head. And now just give yourself permission to relax your jaw. We can hold so much tension in the jaw. We can hold so much tension in the jaw. Just release your jaw now. Feel the floating energy up through the eyes. Another place where our muscles have a tendency to strain all day. Let the calming relaxation release in your eyes. Soothing across your forehead. Melting. And take a moment now to feel the energy in the top of your head swirling and releasing. Visualize or imagine that. Just open the top of your head, allowing the stress and tensions to just release up, release off into the atmosphere. And maybe you might even start to feel a warming sensation spread throughout your body now. This calm, soothing feeling as your body feels totally relaxed. And now on your next exhale, unwind and remove any remaining stress and tension. Take a deep breath and notice how totally relaxed your whole body feels. And now, we're going to go a little deeper. I'm going to count backwards from five to zero, and as I do, you'll prepare yourself to enter even deeper into the state of hypnosis for the purpose of deep relaxation. Five, four, three, two, one. Deep sleep. Now that you're relaxed, the suggestions that you hear will have an immediate and permanent effect on your subconscious mind. You will hear every word that I speak, even though you may find your mind wandering away at times. Because right now, nothing else matters. Nothing except for this feeling of deep relaxation and calmness that you are experiencing now. And you can allow, if you want, yourself to go even deeper into a gentle hypnotic rest. To listen to the ideas flow from your all-knowing, powerful, subconscious, and awareness. Setting goals is a great tool, and the old way is over. You made a solid decision. You decided that you're not turning back. The old way is done. It's just not you anymore. Finishing with the old, ready to accept the new future goals. Now you are creating a new reality and you look happily towards the future. You feel very determined 
and your determination grows. You are looking forward and moving forward. You feel that you are in control and you are in control. You know that you are. Now, you're going to find yourself changing, not just in little subtle ways, but dramatic, exciting, and stimulating ways. Because you are beginning to realize that you've been given a chance to reinvent yourself and to fulfill dreams that you had, but never did until now. As we approach times for you to reset and reinvent yourself, I want you to think about the goals that you have set for yourself. Soon, very soon, you will be able to set these goals in motion, knowing that this is a new beginning. It is a time for a fresh start, time for a new you. And it really doesn't matter how many times in the past that you've tried and failed, because the past is over. Time to gain confidence and overcome any obstacles that you have previously stood in your way. So decide, right now, right here in hypnosis, to take those first steps towards a newer you. In order to reinvent yourself, you may like to let the dreaming you, the creative part of your inner mind. Conceive an image of how you're going to be. This new exciting you is manifesting in your deeper self. So, how do you see yourself? Would you have to shift your outer or your inner image? Would you change your personality or just your views on things? Reinventing in your mind is the first step to make those positive changes in life. For what your mind can conceive, then you can believe and then achieve. And you now believe that these changes are taking place in your deeper mind and your subconscious mind unconditionally accepts these new beliefs. For you are changing. You are advancing, progressing, developing in many wonderful ways. And you have taken the most important first steps towards achieving your goal. And soon, that first step will turn into a big stride as you begin to make those inner dreams materialize. You have a target to aim for now. You have a target to aim for now. Whatever and however big your goal is, you can really enjoy the knowledge that this, that this time you will succeed. You will succeed because you have the determination and the motivation to succeed and a plan. And this determination along with your wonderful, creative, powerful subconscious mind is all that you really need. So make this pledge to yourself right now. Hear it in your own mind. Hear yourself saying, I am in complete control of my life. And I can do anything that I set my mind to. Come with me now on a journey even deeper into your subconscious mind. 
Imagine that it's time to put into action your new goal. And you can rejoice at the opportunity that this new start is going to mean to you. You've had enough of your old way of life and you are ready for this chance for a new beginning. You're all set with your target written out on paper, your daily journal. You know where you want to go and you know how to get there. You know why and for who you are doing this goal for. You have a plan of action. Now imagine a target in your mind and just pay attention to that first ring of the target. And this is to identify each reason for having held on to those outdated modes of behavior. And you can realize how unimportant and irrelevant these obstacles really are. And having identified these reasons, you can see them for what they are them. You really don't need any excuse to continue your old negative behavior. You already have all the determination, motivation, and confidence that you need to succeed. And succeed you will, because this is a new beginning for you and you are really excited and cannot wait to get started. You have made a conscious decision to create the future that is rightfully yours. And why shouldn't you be successful? Why shouldn't you have all the happiness and joy you want? Why shouldn't you be loved and cherished or talented or whatever it is that you desire? You see your aims clearly now. No more sitting in the sidelines and watching your life pass you by. No more fears or insecurities or feelings that discourage you in any way at all. You can examine all those negative feelings. You can examine all of those negative feelings one by one right now here in hypnosis and discard and discard the ones that no longer serve you. You can reject old patterns of behavior or thoughts or negative feelings because you have a choice. A choice to break through that barrier of excuses and old limiting beliefs that no longer serve. Breaking through that first ring of your target and into the next inner ring. Good. Now when you're ready, Visualize that next inner ring of your target. This is your plan. Remember that who, what, where, when, why, how of your goal, and you know it completely. As a matter of fact, you have it so memorized it becomes you. It becomes habit. It becomes without you thinking about it. So you realize that this is your chance to succeed. That's right. This is your chance to prove to yourself and others that you can do it. And you can succeed. And you will succeed. You can and you will do well. In fact, you will do better than well. You will excel. You feel so proud of yourself 
when you succeed and this feeling of pride remains with you to motivate you. See yourself moving through your plan now. What will it take? And as you move through to the next ring of your target, to the action plan, move forward now to the action of executing your plan to reach your goal. It's so close. You're so close to the bullseye. And it comes easy because it was well rehearsed and clearly written out. And you choose to write it out by the suggestions here given by me. And now imagine that it's six months from now and just place yourself in the center of that target, right there in the bullseye. And you can see this new you and you are looking and feeling really good with your new goal. See yourself in that center of your target with your goal achieved, mastered even. What sounds would you hear? Any tastes you might savor? What can you feel? See? You no longer have to resist temptations because there is really no temptation there. This is a completely natural way of life for you. This is your new normal. You are more confident, more positive. You look better. You feel better. You are healthier, fitter, and full of vitality. It's so good to know that you are in complete control of your mind, your body. And looking back to how it was in the very beginning, you feel very proud of yourself for having made these changes in your life. You are proud of yourself for taking control and accepting responsibility for yourself. And yes, you know that if there were any uncomfortable feelings or obstacles, well, you coped. You coped then because you are a mature adult and you cope now because that maturity, wisdom, and confidence has increased. In fact, you cope with any situation that arises. You are in complete control of your mind. So enjoy these wonderful feelings, noticing how much more confident you are, so much more in control and happier than you ever imagined possible. So bring yourself back to the present time and feel your determination and motivation strengthen moment by moment. You are in complete control of your mind. It's a wonderful feeling to be in control like this and reach those goals that you have set for yourself. In a few moments, I'm going to count from zero to five. And at the count of five, you'll be fully wide awake, fully alert, and with a confidence and perhaps a little smile ready to allow these suggestions to work for you. And you find that every day 
You're becoming more and more the person that you really strive to be. Your mind knows no limits. You can do anything that you set your mind to. You have all the confidence in the world and you feel wonderful. All these suggestions are firmly embedded in your subconscious mind and grow stronger and stronger day by day. And the suggestions you've heard in this hypnotic session are completely and permanently embedded in your powerful, wonderful subconscious mind. I will count now from zero to five. And at five, you'll be awake, refreshed, and alert, and ready to return to normal conscious awareness. The state of zero being a full, deep, relaxed state. One, beginning to return now to the here and now. Two, just feel your eyelids start to flicker. Three, becoming aware of your surroundings, where you are. Maybe you can feel a slight smile as you become more aware of the room around you. Four, eyelids becoming lighter. Maybe wiggling your toes and your fingers as you take in a nice deep breath. And at five, eyes open wide awake, wide awake. Mind and body returning to normal conscious awareness. Wide awake, refreshed and alert. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have been motivated to aim for your goals. And now that you have your target and you know how to get there. If you think hypnosis is a solution for you, reach out on our social media. Today is the first page of a 365 page book. Write a good one. We'll see you next time on Santa Barbara Hypnotized. Thank you.